Throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. The idea of supernatural creatures that consume the blood of others is nigh universal, often under the umbrella term, vampires. When most people hear the term vampires, images of people with strong charismatic traits and an attractive physical appearance belying a predatory nature and razor-sharp teeth begin to materialize. But there is one vampiric creature of Latin American legend that is far from Dracula in both appearance and mannerism. One that looks absolutely alien to this world and has a penchant for attacking animals, both wild and especially domestic. Chupacabra. Descriptions of the Chupacabra or Chupacabras tend to vary from story to story, but most are divided into one of two categories. The first is said to be a large reptilian creature with huge red eyes, greenish-gray leathery or scaly skin, and a row of spines along its back, perhaps to deter enemies from attacking it from behind. This variation is said to be capable of moving in a quadrupedal fashion, but may also stand upon its hind legs in bipedal fashion, and leap in a locomotion similar to that of a kangaroo. The other is said to be mammalian in appearance, resembling a creature like a wild dog with sparse or no fur, with pronounced eye sockets, canine teeth and claws. Whatever its appearance, whether it be reptile or mammal, Chupacabra is said to be a frightening figure, prowling rural areas by night and attacking livestock, namely goats and sheep. Though it prefers the blood of animals, Chupacabras are said to be more than capable of attacking nighttime travelers who stumble upon it, or farmers and shepherds tending their herds and flocks after dark. Though vampires as a whole are older than ancient Mesopotamia, stories of chupacabras began in the late 20th century. Chupacabras were first reported in 1995 in Puerto Rico, where they were blamed for attacks on goats, sheep, and other domestic animals, leaving behind carcasses that were uneaten, yet were entirely drained of blood. Alleged witnesses described a creature that stood upright and resembled a reptilian kangaroo with huge red eyes and prominent fangs. Though no actual specimens, living or dead, were found, and many skeptics suggested that witnesses may have been influenced by science fiction and horror movies, such as 1995 Species, other sightings began to be reported throughout the Caribbean and then in Central and South America, even going as far north as the southwestern United States. A number of explanations for the creatures, both plausible and outlandish, had emerged at the time. Some say that appearances of chupacabra aligned with UFO sightings in the area, indicating the beast was alien in origin. Others say that the chupacabras were a super-secret military experiment gone wrong and had escaped from a military base. As the legend spread north, chupacabra would gain its more mammalian variant, with alleged witnesses claiming to see what looked like a large feral dog, also with burning red eyes and unearthly fangs. But unlike the reptilian variant, actual specimens of this chupacabra were produced. However, upon closer inspection by biologists, 
These quote-unquote specimens were identified as coyotes and feral dogs suffering from mange. This disease would have made the wild dogs gradually lose their fur and other physical defects that would give it a more feral and frightening appearance, especially at night. The mange perhaps would have also led to attacks on livestock, as they would be easier to hunt than their typical prey in the wilds. Whatever their origins may be, and whatever they may look like, chupacabras are unique among the vast sea of cryptids. They are significantly younger than other hidden animals, such as Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster, or even Mothman. And their legend combines elements of rural superstition, vampire folklore, and even science fiction. Though chupacabras have had a much shorter history than other vampires and many other cryptids, they have enjoyed a significant stream of popularity beginning in the late 20th century and all the way to the present day. Perhaps it is the thrill of a potentially newly discovered animal species or a real-life monster that has a startling appearance and unnerving way of nourishing itself that led to its widespread legend. Or maybe it is the fun of telling monster stories in the modern age ones that are somewhat more plausible than the ones of ancient mythology that keeps the Chupacabra story alive and well. <laughs>